Hello everybody, my name is Ngoc Anh Le, and I'm the social chair of BSA this year. Very glad to be here today because we are doing a really exciting election for next year board. And I'm um, personally very surprised to welcome Toby again to the Thank board. You. And um, we'll have a few questions with him. So can you just introduce yourself to the audience? A sure. Bit? First, I want to thank you, you all, for inviting me here for the interview. And I am honored to be interviewed by the very superstar from the Culture Show. And so, my name is Duke Nguyen. My nickname is Toby, so you guys can call me Toby easier. And this year, I'm going to be a senior in Drexel. Mm -hmm. And I want to apply for a pres presidential position this year. Nice. So, can you tell me some reasons why you want to apply for this position? Oh. So, the reasons why I apply for to be a president next year, there will be three main reasons why I want to apply. The first reason is because I feel and I appreciate a lot of events that Drexel VSA have given to me and a lot of support from Drexel VSA. So, I also want to contribute myself and give the chance to all the members internally and externally to have a chance to get a positive, supportive, and fun events and communities. You know, like we all international students, mm -hmm. we from Vietnam and we have to apart from families and friends. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to um, study abroad, I think so, and I'm very scared at the first place. Mm -hmm. I remember the first time I went to um, the Drexel VSA booth in the accepted student days, uh, with a bunch of um, familiar faces that I met before in Hanoi. And they was very supportive. They gave me a lot of tips and advices. Um, it's good. It's um, calmed me down a lot. Mm -hmm. So I want to share my feelings. I enjoy that feelings. And I want to contribute so that every member to have that same feelings. The second reason, I think, is because this year is my senior year. So four years in Drexel, I have learned so many things mm -hmm. through the co-ops, through all the things I have learned in Drexel, experience with the event service. Um, I also uh, an e was a e board member before three years ago. So it also gave me a lot of like um, confidence to apply for this leadership position. And of course, my biggest strength is all the members, Drexel VSA members, um, the future and the current um, Drexel e board mm -hmm. that can give me tips, advices, and support me. Last but not least, I have this is not actually a reason. Mm -hmm. This actually, um, actually, a motivation mm -hmm. from the current e board members and all the volunteers for the culture show this year. You guys did a great job. You guys have given me a feeling to become a freshman again. I also remember working with you guys gave me the feeling of becoming back to be a uh, executive board when it was three years ago. We have a lot of fun working together, uh, practicing singing and dancing, and it turned out very good results. So thank you, you all, and I appreciate that. So for this reason, I that is why I want to apply for this position. Nice. So you've observed a lot and really wants to get back into that community and get the same feeling you had. Cause, right. Yeah, it's just being rekindled by all the <laughs> culture show things that we did, right? We all share the same feeling. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you think, what qualities you have as a leader that would contribute well to this position? Huh. I don't think I am a bad person, but I think that four years in Drexel gave me a lot of experience. Of course, also because I was a um, e board member before, mm -hmm. so I have a lot of connection internally, externally, with um, other organizations in our school, like ASEAN, NAP. I, I was also the member of executive board in these um, organizations, mm -hmm. also GCC, mm -hmm. um, and other organizations as well. I also know a lot of other VSA chapter in other colleges, mm -hmm. okay. um, and I also worked for 
event department, uh, event service department. So I believe that it could be a, a, a strength for um, to create events for Drexel VSA. And yes, also my biggest strength now in the future and even in the past is mm -hmm. all you guys. Drexel members, you guys give me a lot of tips, my friends. So you guys and my, my future um, board mm -hmm. can, is the biggest strength for me. That's right. Yeah, definitely I've learned a lot from my board as sure. well. Yeah. Um, so, do you have any plans for next year if you are to be elected? Uh, so, not actually a plan, but I have been brainstorming a lot of times for, for the events of the next coming year. So, I have noticed that um, many events was, have the same or the familiar content as last year. So I plan to have this new change of the content of the events, not the big events like culture show mm -hmm. or tip banquet. It's it's mandatory. Or, um, it's okay. something that has have to be fixed. Okay. Uh, no, it's not to be fixed, but it's stable. So I want to change some small events, mm -hmm. give a new content, give a new flow, mm -hmm. new win, so that people can get interested to that event. Okay. Cool. I'm sure I'm gonna, you're going to share more about that. Election day, right? Yeah, I, I would keep it <laughs> secret until okay. today. Um, <laughs> so, definitely, there will be a lot of challenges for you to um, lead VSA and reach the goals that you want to have yep. next year mm -hmm. as a president. So, mm -hmm. what do you think are some of the difficulties that you will face once becoming the president of VSA? So, difficulties for this position. I think it's about the strength. So I'm not the best one, like I say. I have many strengths for myself, but it's not cover all the aspects of the groups. Mm -hmm. That's why we have to have a team. And my team, in the future, I believe that they can support me with all the skill they have. I don't have the skill in all the kind of different aspects I may not a good photographer, we will have. I may not to be a very um, good event planning, we will have that. Mm -hmm. But I want to make sure that my board and myself will contribute all enough. And definitely, I will overcome these difficulties by having my board in the future. Okay, so I'm sure you, you love this question. Uh, wow. You know me. <laughs> You've heard it before. Um, what will you do to make the VSA members smile after leaving our events? <laughs> so you asked me a question that I have three years ago. I remember the first time I got these questions was when I applied for the um, the, the same the position in Drexel VSA e board, uh, and this question is from a brother named Tang Dao, and I thank you for that. I have always been thinking about this question for four years, and I believe that one of my answer for this question is that. Um, so, how to make Drexovia as a member to have my after our event? Mm -hmm. We will do it based on three main aspects. The first aspect is about events itself. So our event is the main product that Tricks with VSA can give out for members. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that our event is, is re interesting, mm -hmm. supportive, and informative for our um, members to come. So we will renew some of the event content, so make a new win to that. Mm -hmm. We also put a lot more efforts this year in decoration and detail oriented, oriented for all these events. Mm -hmm. to make sure every, everything perfect. So that is the main, the first main um, aspect. The second main aspect I want to deliver here is our attitude. So I want to make sure that all the members of our board will keep the good attitude toward our members in the future. Um, we will make sure that we always keep our um, positive 
cheerful and respectful attitude to all the members all the time, so that we can deal with any kind of issues and dramas in the future. Last but not least, it is it's a time to say that. Hmm. We do all the events um, based on our sincerity. It's just like when you host a, f- a party, you want to invite your friends. You have to spend your time to prepare food, drinks, all this stuff. It's not about like money or time. Mm-hmm. It's just about like you want to have like people gather together. You want to cheer each other up, or you want to play games with each other. It's all about your friends. It's all about you guys have want to have fun with each other, you want to support each other. And I think that the rewards should be like, you want to, to see your friend to get out your door with a smile. So it's apply the same thing with Drexel VSA board and what we do here, creating events for you guys, to support you guys, to gather together. It also something that we do for us. So, sincerity is something that we want to show. Mm-hmm. So that we do that we do all these things not based on something we want to achieve title it's not about money it's not about time it's not about experience it's just about we us Vietnamese people it's, it's about we want you guys to enjoy we want we want we also to enjoy right so we want to show our sincerity so that makes sure you guys are happy after our events that's very good um, yeah just to sum it up like uh, for me, myself, the reason why I joined a lot of organizations mm-hmm. is also because I love it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love this kind of work. Yep. I love working with people. So that's definitely also the same idea that I have. Is that if you want to stick to an organization, first you have to love the people right. uh, before anything. Um, so what's some last words that you want to say to the audience? So I think that I have a message for all of the Drexel VSA members that... Please think carefully and vote for the one that you think is right for BSA. It might not be me, it might be someone else. Just vote for the one you think is right. Vote for the one you think that can make BSA to be, to have a brighter future and to, to be able to give the best event ever for all the BSA members. That's what my goal is. And please do that. That's all. Thank you, Toby. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. And um, come to our election day. We'll have everybody there for all the positions. Um, and I make sure that you guys have some time there. Yeah, sure. See you there April 30th.